Hello everybody, this is Akatami and we are back with a hundred babies and I am not prepared to start this recording. Hmm. Oh, here we are. This is part number 88. Okay, in the last of oh, several parts, we played before seasons but after the patch. Now we have seasons. I have my mods back in my game. We also played without MC Command Center and had two sets of twins. So, but I have MC Command Center back in. Um, we have seasons. It is fall. Let's see where we're at so you know. It is the first day of fall. It is the first day of fall. And today is the twins, the youngest twins' birthday. Their birthday's right there. So hopefully they get done before then. I don't remember where we're at other than these two are almost ready to go. Yeah, these two are almost ready to go. All the kids are really sad because of death in the family. Yes, death in the family. Lots of deaths in the family. So I've got her giving herself a pep talk. So hopefully that'll help with her. She's got her skills up, so she's good. Zelda's taking care of the littlest. Yes, she is. She's taking care of the littlest. There you go. So, the babies have taken care of. Are you still sad? Nine hours sad. Okay. You're going to get some food. Yo, I don't think we have much food. I have a note about food. I left myself a note to please make food. So, we should be able to age these two up today. These two age up today. She's not going anywhere. It's a Sunday. Let's see. Let's serve some breakfast. Pancakes. I left myself a note to make food for a reason. You're going to have to make some food. So, it is... It is rainy. Yeah, it is rainy. Is it cool and rainy? It is cool with light rain. Forecast for today is rain. Look at this. I haven't been in the city during the fall or the winter. I started all my games out in fall. But I have not experienced fall in the city. Look at all these Moby people. They're probably family members of mine. No, we're not going to breakfast. I mean, I thank you for the uh, the thought, but no. No, no. No breakfast for us. <laughs> these two are... These two are still sleeping. I can't remember their names. York and Yancey. And Zoranda? Zandra. Zandra. Who let me name this kid Zandra? Zandra and um, Zane. Oh, baby, you've got to quit crying. All these crying kids are just getting to me. I mean, they're crying over people they don't even know. And it's just... I mean, I understand the reasoning behind it. I really do. I understand the reasoning, and I understand why people wanted it. That you would get sad if people died. But nobody took into consideration the... Nobody thought about things like Hunter Baby Challenge. No, you know, extreme situations. Oh, she's sad too, because a family member died. That's our granddaughter. Oh my goodness. Okay. Let's make a lunch. Let's cook a gourmet meal. Um, we could make trout. Do we have any vegetarians in the house? Let's make meatless Monte Cristo. I got it. I 
I got it. I got it. I got it. Oh man, I forgot about that. Where am I gonna put that in the I um off screen I have built a little house for this family. And it is little. And now when I look at all of our stuff, I'm like, where is all of it gonna fit? How am I gonna fit all this stuff in our little house? Come invite Oliver in when you finish giving yourself a pep talk. She's down to three hours. That's not bad. Not right now, Wyatt. I mean, thank you, but not right now. You're almost over it, babe. Oh, she's feeling a little energized right now. That's good. That's good. Oh, no. Not that. I'm just going to replace it. That's bad, but I'm going to do it anyway. I need to be thrifty with our money, but the house I built is not going to cost much. We're going to have money to spare because I did not spend 300000 on the house. I mean, I think it's like 40 something thousand. And, um, as I said, it's small. It may be too small. It's four bedrooms, but that is like one of those is a nursery. So it's four bedrooms, a little study area, a very little study room, and a living area, and then a greenhouse. A lot of outside room. Like a lot of room for the kids to play outside and stuff. You can get over it, dearest. You're not related. She's still sad. 57 minutes. We're almost there. What happened to your food? Were you not just eating? Wait, wait, wait. You were just eating a second ago. What happened to the food that you were eating? You didn't put it back up or something when I wasn't looking. No. What happened to the food you were eating? Because I know for a fact you were eating. And yet she didn't fill her stomach and... Now there's no food anywhere. It's right. Eat this. What are you doing? Oh, the gloominess. Yeah, I'm not sure where everything's going to fit in the new house. But if, if the new house doesn't work, we can always demolish it and try again. You want to know a sad thing about the house? I built the whole the house and was through and then went, there are no bathrooms. Yeah, so the bathrooms are a complete afterthought. So I thought I had it, you know, all this room and everything looked good. And then it's like I had to squeeze in three bathrooms. So, yeah. Because we have three bathrooms and I want to move our three bathrooms into the new house. Just repair that when you get through. Okay, you guys should be getting ready to wake up soon. Let's just get rid of that. You seriously need some attention. Where is everyone from low attention? I'm gonna get you up. Which which one are you? This is York. So I'm gonna get York up, but I'm gonna let you give York a bath. Sweetie, I need you to go give York a bath. There you go. He needs attention. He's very sad and has low attention, and we want him to age up today if possible.
We'll get the baby bathed. We'll get him working on his, um, what is it that he needs? Oh, he's going to need to eat. We, this is the oldest. We'll work on that. So after he gets out of the bath time, he can go potty. And then he can grab him something to eat. Are you going to take care of that, Oliver? You might as well get up. You can go potty. And then you can get you something to eat. Why is the baby crying? It's not time to change babies yet, is it? Yeah, Which means it's time to feed him. Huh. Oh, why you poo? Let's give him a feed and a cuddle and a rock. There's Adonis, the guy I haven't used. Oh. There's a part of me that really, really wants to get her pregnant one more time because she's only had 39 babies. And then there's another part of me that really doesn't want to because 26 pregnancies is enough. But she only had 39 babies. So if I had one more, it would be nice to even 40. You know what I'm saying? But... I'm planning on the move. I mean, I've already got the move started planning and everything. So, do you want to mess that up by getting her pregnant again? I know. It's, it's hard. Do you have any? No, you don't have any. Wish you did. I'd like to buy a money tree. But we don't have enough points for that. We would need to discipline child a bunch of times. Which we could do that. We could just make this one misbehave. And then just discipline her. No, no, no. Go over there and discipline your child. That doesn't count as encouraging. Sorry, child. I really am sorry. Okay, do you have a toy in your pocket? <clears throat> do you have a toy in your pocket? No, you don't. <clears throat> I think they put their toys up. Open. Because I know for a fact that I did have toys in their pockets. You get... Which child am I on? Dang it, wrong child. 
They look so much alike. Okay, I want you to play with your toy, and I want you to play with your toy. Sorry, I need one more. I'm not going to punish her because I'm the one telling her to do it. Get up and tell her one more time. Come on, Zelda. we got to get to the next level. Now, who just did what? There you go. Help a child with schoolwork for four hours. All right, now both of you are going to clean. You can clean up. You can clean. No, we'll just have you clean up. You can clean up. We'll help with schoolwork for four hours. She's already got three hours logged. Have you done all your schoolwork already? You have. So we'll have to do a project. We'll give you a project and let you, her help you with the project. Okay, let's check on these these youngsters. They need imagination level two. Imagination level two. So they just need to do their imagination and then they're good. So we do not want four toddlers if we can help it. It's birthday time. <clears throat> oh my goodness. Okay. Let's let's age up Zane first. Let's see. Random traits for a toddler. Oh. He appears that Zane is just a little wild. As a <laughs> Yay! Zane is a little wild. Well, let's look at where he's at. He's pretty good. He's sad. See, this is this I don't agree with. I don't agree with toddlers aging up to be sad for people who died before they aged up because they were items. I mean, a baby is an item, you know, and a baby doesn't know jack about life or death. So having someone age up into a toddler and be sad because of someone who died before they even aged up, I, I don't I don't like that. What is she doing? No. That would be a no, a no, and a no. If you want to take a nap, you can. But you are not going to sleep at 6 o'clock. And her eyebrows have changed colors again. Whatever. Whatever. We'll get our first potty in before we age up his sister. Zandra. When you finish doing this, I'm going to age up Zandra. Oh, now you're sad. Please quit being sad, everybody. Y'all are getting to me.
Come on, y'all can do this. Get it halfway there if you can. Halfway? Halfway? Imagination level three! York is ready to be aged up! Yay! Wait, wait, wait. Yancey is not ready to be aged up. Yancey must play with his toy for a while longer. He's going to put his toy up like a good little boy. But he hasn't finished his imagination. Play with toy. I'm going to make you play some more. Zondra aged up and Zondra rolled silly. Oh, Zondra's a blonde. I was hoping she would be. I really was. I ain't gonna lie. I was hoping she would be blind. Yay! She got her mama's skin tone. She got her daddy's eyes, I think. Eye color. Okay, let's look at Zondra. She need to potty. Well, it don't matter what they need. Go potty train Zondra. And then we'll age up the other two in a little bit. You, young man. I know you're hungry, but come babble. Come and babble, Zane. Come and babble, Zane. I think he got his up. Still drizzling. Drizzling light rain. It's nice. Look at the fall. Fall is in the air. Okay. Babble and babble and babble and babble. And we'll get you some food out in a minute. If you're not happy with that, honey, clean it. you doing? No, you're not going to sleep. No. You are not going to sleep, youngster. You're going to be aged up in a minute. I said no. You're about to get aged up. So you get yourself up and you deal with it. Why is she just standing there? Can you not walk over here? Then can you not walk over there? You use the bathroom. Let me go find the cake. Because both of the boys are ready to be aged up. Okay. Go use the bathroom, Zelda. Zelda! Go use the bath. Zelda. Use the bathroom. This one keeps wanting to go to bed. And that is a no-no. You can sleep for just a minute. Let me make sure Yancey's got his stuff. Yes, they both have their stuff. Where are you at? No, no, babble some more and then you can eat. I want you to get up to level three babbling. She's all sad. Are you hungry? You are hungry. You can come eat. Grab a serving. Yancy, we will. More choices. Help out the candles. 
Yancey. It is 10 p.m. and the neighbors across the hall are being loud. What do you mean you can't reach it? You just did reach it. You reached it right there. It's right there in the floor. Eats it. Oh, the cake just went bad. Zelda, come cook a cake. Cook a hamburger cake. It's the first one I got to. No, don't tuck them in. They're getting right back up. We're aging them up today. You, Missy. Eat the chicken. What is your problem? And you need chicken too. How far did you come? Did you get did you get your skill up? No, but that's okay. Come get the chicken. Okay, you child, you go over here and pound on the door. No, you can't have that chicken. That's for your baby brother. You have to eat something else. How do you feel when a child pounds on your door and says, oh, by the way, you're being extremely loud. What is she wearing? Is that your party wear? Seriously? Okay, you can come over here and get some leftovers. And after you eat, you can go to bed. Is this your bed? You can go to sleep after you eat. You two, walk your little selves in here. You are a hot mess. You need to use the bathroom. No, you both need to use the bathroom. Go potty. You didn't even set it in the right place, Zelda, dearest. Okay, add some candles. And so after they use the potty, we will age them up. Does that sound good? Gonna have to sound good. And after you eat, you are going to... Are you... Have you eat yet? You have not eat yet. Why are you not eating? Um, where did you put your food? Right there in the floor. Okay, pick up the food. Eat the food. Natasha Cantrell married Nixon Thorne. Kelly Cantrell marries Argus Goth. You have finished eating. You can come over here and babble to the bear. Go babble to the bear after you finish. No, Zelda. No. No. Zelda. No. Put the child down. No. Grab a son. Yancey it is. Grab Yancey. We may not get anything done but age them up and put them to bed, but we're aging them up today. Come on, guys.
Do not try to go to bed, you little one. No. Oh, I gotta randomize. Um, a child. Hold on. Hold on. I'm getting there. Whiz kid. And outgoing. That's one baby taken care of. This can be your bed. Claim it. Go to sleep. We will deal with everything else tomorrow. You add birthday candles. No, don't don't you pick that child up. Why are all the kids thinking about filing folders? No. No, you're not going to sleep. Walk right here. No. Stop trying to pick the child up. I know you want to put him to bed, but we're aging him up. We're aging York up. Come on. Orca. And then you're going to put more candles on this cookie cake. And you got Social Butterfly and Insider. And again, you have the same hairdo as your brother. So I can't freaking tell you apart. Um, here, you. Climb this bed and go to sleep. Question is, do you go to school tomorrow? Two days. Good. That gives us time to work on your skills tomorrow. Okay, we need to go in and look at some kids. What is this? Oh, it's stuck. Don't worry, babes. Don't worry. We're going to unstick everything in a second. We're going to go into create a sim. And look at the kids and adjust outfits and all that fun stuff. We'll just look at the kids first. Because we really need to look at the kids and see where everything... Is this stuck at 42%? Am I going to have to start this over? It should be further than this by now. Ugh. All right. You have pretty blue eyes. But those aren't the shade of your mother's eyes. But you have pretty blue eyes. This is Zandra. She's got on little winter boots. We're going to put her on some tennis shoes or some little... We'll put her on some tennis shoes. We don't care about that. We do care about this. You can keep the little outfit though. That's I'm fine with that. Um, uh, don't care about that. Don't care about that. Hot weather is not really an issue right now. Cold weather. Let's put you on a big old romper. There you go. You is good. Where's your brother? Zane. Zane also got the pretty blue eyes. Your dad must have those eye colors. Because you got pretty blue eyes. And your sleepwear is... Eh, that's fine. Your cold wear... Oh, that matches not at all. Um, is there... I'm, I'm not overly fond of those. And rain galoshes. Let's give you some winter galoshes. I don't think any of this matters though really, but you'll be set up just in case you go outside. Then we have York. Um, I hate those pants. Can I just say it? I hate these pants. Well, I don't hate them. I just don't like them. Wear those. Those look ridiculous too. And you have no hair. One of you needs to have hair because you look you look exactly the same. How am I supposed to tell you apart? Um, let's see. Sleepwear. No. I'm gonna put some pants on. There you go. And cold weather. That's fine. 
and we're going to give you some hair. Um, let's look at this new hair. Let's look at it where I can actually... Where did it go? Do we not have a new hair? Maybe we didn't. No, we did. We got this new hair. And then we got this new hair. We're going to give you this one. And we'll give Yancey... No, Yancey can stay this way. Put on some different shoes. Some little hikers or something. Um, bedtime... What if we, there's some pants that go with that, isn't aren't there? Um, isn't there like pants that go with that? And then cold weather, no glasses. No glasses with your cold weather. And what are these boots? Those are Halloween boots. No, put these boots on. There you go. Okay, so that's the gang. Yancey, no hair. York has hair and then Zandra and then Zane. So thank you so very much for watching. I hope that you've enjoyed and I hope that I'll be seeing you back here again real soon. Bye for now guys.